I want to talk a little bit about some coins and a little bit about silver as well. So let's get started. Silver Scrounger here and today is Thursday October 21st so I wanted to come on here and just talk a little bit about things that have been going on uh, some coins I've been collecting and and whatnot some of the things I've got and also a little bit about silver just for a quick second so let's get to that real quick we've had about three or so months or sorry three or so weeks of 22 plus dollar silver spot price now i know a lot of people are going to say well that's not what you pay at the at the store you got to pay the premiums well i mean yeah sure but i've been able to pick up silver eagles for 28.50 29 dollars so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Six and a half, seven dollar premiums on Silver Eagles are, are alright with me. Especially after the video I just recently did where it was showing uh ten dollars for Silver Eagles on some of the bullion dealers. But anyway, so the last week we started popping back up and we're into the $23 range and then the last couple of days we've shot up and over $24 now. So we're we're on our way up. I'm thinking it is probably going to do a slight dip back into 23 for a little bit and then it will shoot up to 24 and a half, $25 probably by Halloween is still my guess. Uh, it may even get into the, the mid 25s, but I'm still expecting it to be at $28 or so by the end of the year. So we'll see what happens with all that. Anyway, back to our original topic. All right. So I've been doing a lot of collecting on coins lately. I've, uh, been spending a little more than I probably should. Probably should have been focusing it more onto the silver. But I think these have some value to them as well that I should be able to turn around and get some uh, fiat currency, cash money, if I desperately needed to. Now, if it was a uh, SHTF scenario, these may not be so much of a, a value and the silver would be but in a normal everyday life of oh crap I need to get some money somewhere these can come in handy and uh, I was going to show you a little bit closer on some of these and just show them off a little I guess these are just some of my coins a little bit of the the better looking ones that I have and I'll get a little closer and let you see them but first if you guys are enjoying the videos please help me out give a good thumbs up by liking the video and commenting down below on anything that I may be discussing on the video let me know what you think silver is going to do um, what kind of uh, coins you think would be a good idea to, to collect on top of what I already have here. Uh, just whatever whatever comes to mind, anything that is discussed on the videos. And also share the videos. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Because I am getting ever so close. I've been starting to, to ramp up my subscriptions lately. It's up to 84 right now. And I would love to hit that 100 subscriber mark because I am going to be giving that giveaway of my 1999 S Silver Kennedy Half Dollar P2 
PR69 DCAM, PCGS graded. So I will be giving this away as soon as I hit that 100 subscriber mark. So please help me out and get, get some subscribers in here to uh, get it up there. They may win, you may win, who knows. So I'm excited to do that. I've been starting to jump up in, in the numbers recently, so I'm really happy about that. Anyway, so let's get a little bit closer in on, on these. Most of these are going to be all my non-silver types, but I do have a few. Uh, I got that right there from a coin show. And I don't remember, I think I paid $25 total for it. And I only did that and got this proof set because 1994 is the year that I joined the Navy. So I thought it would be a, a nice thing to have for remembering that I joined the Navy in 1994, served 20 years, and uh, glad I did it, glad I stuck it out and stayed the whole time, but that's the only reason why I've got that. Now, there's a, only a couple of other silver pieces I'm going to show you today, but uh, that'll be in a second. So, Buffalo Nickels, there's something about them, I don't know, they're, they're kind of rough to me. They're very rough looking. No matter if you get a, a VG one, or a Fine, or, or an AU even, they just seem to like they have a rough finish. Not sure why. And my lighting is not getting all that great in here. So... There you go. Those are some of my better Buffalo Nickels I have right now. Um, I'm working on getting a few better ones. But, like I said, they just have a, a rough looking finish to them. I don't know if, like, a, if there's any proofs that would look better or not. But, I do like them very much. I just seem to think they have a rough finish to them. Then, let me see here. I got some some proofs or some SMS nickels. Got a couple of those. Really nice condition. A couple of proofs here also. I'm uh, working on getting a proof from the my uh, birth year and I'll be getting a couple of those in the mail here soon I just got them waiting for them to come in and the lighting in, the, in here is not working out for me today but uh, something about proofs I don't know why they just seem to, to look really nice I like them a lot especially the quarters man the, the reverse of them I really find that very hot. I mean, that is just amazing. Let me see if I can get in this light. Here we go. That's just really cool looking. So, and then, <laughs> I only pulled this out because I love showing off the cleaned Indian head. You can definitely tell it's been cleaned. I mean, that's a AG at best. So, whoever marked that, I haven't removed it from the original flip when I bought it. But I just wanted to get it because, yeah, you can see it really well. But the details of, the, like, the wreath, all the leaves are almost blended together. And uh, you can't see Liberty at all or any kind of detail in the feathers. So... It is a really pretty coin because it's been cleaned and polished, but it's not worth much to me. It's just something cool to look at. Anyway, so I've got some uh, beautiful large scents. Now, what got me onto these was I bought a nice 
uh, coin grab bag, a mystery grab bag from Christian at Treasure Town. And inside of that grab bag were these two large scents. And man, they're they're beat up, tore up, and rough looking. Pardon me, with with stamped numbers and everything. Eighteen forty five, I think this one was, and this one's seventeen ninety eight, I believe. You can barely make it out in the light if I can find it. I think it's like right there, seventeen ninety seven. But anyway. So, and they're hold. But yeah, I got those in a proof, or in a, a grab bag from Christian at Treasure Town. He does some pretty cool grab bags, but uh, that got me on to wanting to find some better examples of large scents. And I think I found a couple. I mean, there's definitely a lot better ones out there. However,. My budget doesn't allow me to spend the kind of money that would require to get better examples. But I think these are pretty decent ones. And then, this one is the first design for the small scent. The Flying Eagle. This is in... It says G4, but I'm thinking it's more about good more ag so i need to get a few more of these that's the only one i have i think and it's in pretty rough shape but i've got a whole lot of uh lincoln proof pennies i've got a ton of those i've got some real nice wheat scents i mean Look at that. I can never get over how nice these wheat scents look. Now, I've I specifically pulled this one out just for a reason of showing. If you look, you see the uh, cartwheel type of effect. As I was saying, sorry about that. The Dogs were going crazy, but the cartwheel effect kind of thing you got on the the penny there, the luster. This is the 1943 steel scent. And there's a lot of people that uh, find the real nice shiny ones that have the, the high gloss and everything. A little bit of a blue tinge to it. And it's hard for them to accept that they've been replated and it, I try to explain it to them that uh, if you can twist it in the light and see that that cartwheel looking effect that wagon wheel or whatever you want to call it kind of does the same thing I mean it does the same thing on on the copper sense also if you can just get it right so but that's how you can tell is it'll have like a blue uh, hue or something to it. It'll look a little bluish and also the the shine will be kind of flat like almost like a proof how the uh, the fields of a proof is a flat shine how it just does that whites out type of thing kind of hard to tell in the flip but anyway yeah so I wanted to just show that a little bit uh, to be able to tell if it's an original uh, zinc coating or not and then I got a few Indian heads here these are some of my nicer ones uh, don't pay attention to none of the prices on here they were either written on by someone else or they are a uh, red book price of the about grade that it was it is and I wouldn't go by those at all anyway 
these are the ones also that I'm really getting into. The uh, what some people say are odd denomination coins. I got the two cent here, pretty decent. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. Get a little better lighting on it. So we got two cent. There we go. Flip it over, see the shield. It's got a little bit of the lines on there still. Some of the vertical lines are still good. So it's a very good example. Pretty nice piece. And then the three cent piece. This one is in really good shape. Uh, the VG. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell sometimes, but I think this one is a VG. Because there's supposed to be lines in all three of the eyes there. And I can't really pick them all up. So I think it is a VG, but still. Really nice coins. I want to get more of those also. This one took me a lot of research to find out what it was. So, let me know if uh, anybody out there has got, a, got one of these. This one is in pretty rough condition. You can see it's got a lot of deterioration, uh, rotted away, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I also got this in a grab bag, the same one from uh, Christian Treasure Town that gave me those other damaged uh, scents. Now, I have not been a big fan of the uh, graded coins and holders, but I find myself starting to get more and more of them because I see where the value comes into having certified uh, coins in certain grades. Now, am I going to pay to do the, the grading or get the grading done? Probably not because I haven't found anything myself that I think is uh, worth, I guess, getting grading. Because to me, if it is going to be a, a coin that will not make the money back for all the different costs of grading, then I'm not going to do it. So if it costs me $50, $60, $70 to get a coin graded, it needs to be worth that much. So I do love getting all these wheat cents though, like looking like that. I'm not a big fan of the peace dollars, but for the price that I got this one at, I couldn't resist it. So there it is. This one here, I may have paid a little too much for it, but I am a uh, Mercury Dime fanatic. I love Mercury Dimes. So, and this is my first full band designation Mercury Dime. So, may have paid just a hair too much with the shipping involved as well, but I think it'll it'll be just fine sitting in my collection for a while. And then I've got another proof here too. This one's mine. I almost tried to say I was giving that one away on one of my other videos until I realized it was the 68. And I'm keeping that one. So, anyway. I was just showing off a little bit. Uh, letting y'all see some of the things I've been collecting. I am really trying to build up inventory because I am thinking of opening a coin shop, a legit coin shop out in my town where there is nothing. I have to drive probably 45 minutes to an hour just to get to a somewhat coin shop. And it gets exhausting sometimes. So I'm going to really look into getting a coin shop myself so we'll see what happens and what else there is something else I was going to talk about ah my uh 
silver goals. I've uh, I've reached my goal for this year. I don't know if you've watched that video or not, but my 100 ounce silver goal for 2021 has been met two weeks ago, and I've been contemplating what I was going to do with the rest of this year. And I figured, well, maybe I'll focus more on my coins here and get some more inventory or get some choice pieces that I was looking at getting. Then I figured, you know what? I need some gold. So I'm going to figure out a way to be able to get me some gold. What I think I'm going to do is from here until the end of the year, I'm going to try to get as much silver again as I can. Then I'm going to take that silver that I that I buy between now and the end of the year and hopefully this gold to silver ratio will close up a little bit and I'll trade it and see if I can't get a good maybe quarter ounce or half ounce gold coin. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and let y'all enjoy your night and I'm going to enjoy my night. So this is Silver Scrounger saying thanks for watching. I want to thank everyone for watching my video. It is greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, found it informative or entertaining, please hit that thumbs up button by liking the video. Also comment on what you think about anything discussed. I'm always interested in to hear other people's thoughts. Until next time, this is Silver Scrounger saying thanks for watching and keep on stacking.